Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to Geek Chess. My name's Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, and you? Pretty awesome. My name's today, Arnaz. Today, next, you think you're new. Nope, we'll pass that point. No, my name's Arnaz. Nope, they, they don't get to know your name. You're just Nobody will know me! In the chair next to Nobody Steve. Nobody will know me. <laughs> Nobody wants to be sitting next to Steve. There's like 30 comments. I want to sit next to Steve. And I appreciate you. <laughs> but today in Action Figure News. Oh, actually, before we get to Action Figure News, somebody sent me a meme video of a really old thing where it's just like, I, for, I forget which video, but it's like the beginning of the video where like, all right, we got to prepare. And I'm like, <sighs> and you're just like, bitch. It's the guy that like zooms in on you when you say it. Just like, bro. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. Why did you get it? <laughs> it's on here. I'll show you in a minute. All right. Sweet. All right, but yeah, so. Uh, oh, I... that's from my original video. Yeah, that's a, uh, somebody productions. Hold on, I'll give you a shout out in this video. I'm gonna start talking. What figures are we doing? Uh, there is for the X Blast news. There's a 2002 Godzilla. Yeah, with the uh, Yuji Sakai. Well, with the weird neck. Uh, I... The awesome neck. That's a that weird thing. Godzilla neck. Like I'm not as big of a fi like I like the 2002. Don't get me wrong, but not it's not. Something I would buy an X plus of. That is a nice looking statue. If I do say so myself. I mean, I like the 2002 movie. I don't know. It's like, I like it. Like Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla. Yeah. I, like, I even like the Godzilla, but it's not like close to being one of my favorites, though. But yeah, that's true. It's got its ups and downs. Uh, you said there's the King Ghidorah. Yep, there is the 64 Ghidorah. They are doing another version of that. And then if you get the Rick exclusive. You can get the uh, concept color, which is America Ghidorah. Uh, that's so, up for pre-order now. You're talking about he's literally looks like the that's the American flag one, right? Yep. America. America Ghidorah. Yeah. Any playlist. That would be amazing. I feel like I need that. I kind of want to. I just need and like just get the wires and just hang it right here in the center of us, just oh, flying King Ghidorah. Oh. It is the new name from Panda. Dash for you to see studios. So, thank you. Oh, it's got a dislike, you monster. Anyways. <laughs> it, it made me laugh oh, pretty good. See. I already laughed. You look uh, so young. <laughs> my God. This was only two years ago. Uh, let me see. Uh, t -t 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 share. Send it to... Oh, I can send it to you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, get out of here. There we go. But, uh, ah, was, sweet. Got it. It. Made, uh, me, it made me laugh. But there. that's pretty much it for the X Plus stuff that's like super exciting. Woo woo! Got right it. Right now. Anyway... <laughs> This is so professional. I better turn that down because Matt's going to... Yeah, he's going to spam that. Uh, which we got an unboxing to do for Matt, too. More or less, we, actually, we got to make sure that the stuff's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, For one my, of my... One of my favorite figures, High School DXD is putting out a Kino figure that I really need. I, I can't... It, I, I like how you sold all your booby figures, and now that they have an awesome booby figure, you're like, maybe... <laughs> like I can't go back down that dark road, but man, does she look good! Oh She's yeah, just calling my name. Like I like. Oh, the, I like the pose. I actually like like the weird thing about like Steve collecting like etchy style figures and stuff of this is I actually am more drawn to like I like the outfit, right? Yeah, like I think it's just like really eye catching. And that is, like, more selling me on the figure than, like, the sexual nature of the figure. You know what? I like what's under the outfit. The sooner I can take the outfit, the better. Yeah, that's one of those things. Like, I'm not even, like, the, like I would almost prefer if it doesn't come off because that's just more things that I have to, like, properly line up <laughs> <laughs> to make sure it fits. Because, like, I have, like, a school days one that's like that. Um, but for the most part, like, those kind of figures, I usually avoid unless, like, I just think, like, they look cool. Like, for instance, the, um, there's an Amelia statue coming out that they're doing of the wedding out, wedding dress version, which is more or less, it's, like, wedding lingerie look, version of Amelia. Uh, looks great, though. Like, that's something, too, that I'm, like, no. 
She needs to die. But it's such a good looking figure. She just, I like the outfit. She just needs to die with Subaru. They both just need to die. I think it's Good Smile that was making that statue, though. She just needs to die along with Subaru. That, that's all I got to say about that anime. Oh, I, I liked her. Granted, Rem, best girl. 100%. Rem's always going to be the best girl. I won't, eh, I won't say best girl, period. There's some good best girls. No, in that anime. Well, in that, yeah, in the anime. No, no, in that anime. Agree with you. Best girl ever. Although, I, like, now I'm kind of on um. Except, what's that girl's name? The cat one. That's a best girl, too. But that. Best girl. Shh. No? Remember the cosplay we seen? Yeah, uh, no, few years I remember ago. that cosplay. A few years ago in the... Uh, you don't have to remind me. I'll put it here. <laughs> I think I got it in my computer still. Because <laughs> I have like all like the cosplay stuff I kept in a folder. Uh, but that that statue looks cool. Uh, uh, oh, God. How do you say their name? I should just keep this open, shouldn't I? You should. I'll make this a lot faster. Let's see what Matt said about that video. It's my problem with like the foreign companies is the way names are always weird. There's so many of them. Uh, Pultra. Uh, I think they were the one that did my uh, my Kana statue that I got at home. I don't know about your Kana statue, but her statue is thick with two capital C's, man. It's true because they are doing uh, SSS Scrimmage statues of uh, both Riku and Akane. Both look amazing. Problem for me, because I was like, I was going to hundred percent pre-order, but I know Good Smiles doing both of them too. I would wait for Good Smiles. And Wonder Fest is in like a week, so I they'll probably wait. have prototypes, and then I can kind of go off that if I want to pre-order them. Because of like the Good Smile ones are like okay, I'll probably just get these ones. I would wait, but it's just like I think like they do such a good job at capturing like the way they look in the anime though, which is really hard. For some like tr studio trigger figures, because it's like the darling the frog stuff. Like the figure arts is like okay, but like the Kota Bakia is like how like really good in comparison. So it's like hit and miss a little bit. Like God, I wish a fig like Figma would do darling. They could do a good job. They would have done a good. She's job. technically a but monster. But then we would have got the robot. She's technically a monster though. So sort of. Yeah. But she's a Cloxosaurus. She's a monster. Yeah, well, she's like bred with... Well, not bred, but like she's cross a, gene, whatever. She's a copy of the queen. Yeah. But in a in a way better way. God, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The queen's pretty hot, too. I mean, I, I'm digging... Hey, if you like your... I'm, I'm, I'm digging the monster color version of her. Yeah, if you're into, like, the lowly stuff, I, I can understand. I, I can lowly. totally... Lowly? Like small petite girls. I don't need a damn toothpick. <laughs> That's what she was. <laughs> uh, also, for some reissue stuff, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hey, they're reissuing Joseph. That's all I care about. I'll give you one. You only get him. <laughs> Rest, it doesn't matter. Well, Caesar, you get his buddy. His sort of buddy. But he's one of those figures like... I missed out on him before you like his price jumped up, and now the reissuing I saw. I'm pretty pressed on pre-ordering the guy now, but I don't know if I want to go say like Big Bad Toy Store route where like I'm not committed, yeah. But I'll just get Joseph, or if I should just commit and get both of them on Ami Ami cheaper. Ami Ami cheaper, both of them. But it's like I would have to like, but then I'm committed, so it's like, well, if I'm committed, I might as well get both because then I'll save money that way. I you just go with both. If you if you like the show, then it's worth it. If you don't, then I wouldn't. I really like that season in particular. Like I want my ham and Jotaro. Uh, also, I kind of need a Dio. At some point or other, mainly for like Woody picks. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. But definitely, like I really like Joseph. I, I wouldn't mind getting his um his older form either. When what he got older with the doggy. What else we got? Uh, we have the Neca Lori Strodes from Halloween. So our Michael Myers will have somebody to try to stab. I wonder if she comes with Activia. <laughs> That'd be great, right? <laughs> or like the pole from uh, True Lies. 
You know, we, we can do so many good hole. pictures. We can just get like the bigger thing of Octavia yogurt and just have her sit in it. Like, just, like, a, just, like, just a, like bathing yeah. in Octavia. <laughs> it's like hot tub, you know, kind of form. You got great ideas. I feel like I need to buy her. <laughs> I was planning on buying her, but now I'm kind of afraid. I just have her like on a pole with Octavia dripping on her and Arnold just sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold just in the dark. just Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Now I feel like we have to do that now. <laughs> We'll make Sovereign Res Day, though. Oh, It'll be worth it. That is true. That's really what we're here for. For Transformer news, we have the movie master series of Omegatron and Jazz coming out from the first film. Okay. Which, if you buy Jazz and you come on to pose with your Megatron, you can actually have them ripping apart. Which makes me sad a little bit on the inside because I really loved Jazz from G1 as a kid. Yeah. And then he's finally in the movie, right? Super excited. Only noteworthy thing he does in the entire movie is get ripped in half. Hey, man. You gotta be known for something, I guess. Known for dying? Best death scene ever. Spe- Did you see the preview that came out today? Oh, not really. Like Ironhide, maybe. Got rusted. Did you see the preview today that came out of Rock's new movie with him and Jason? That looks up. Like, I'm not that into Fast and Furious. That, that trailer is awesome. I <laughs> hate those movies. But I feel like I need to watch the Fast and Furious spinoff with Rock and Jason Staten. It looks like it. My favorite thing is when he's like, they jump, like he jumps out the window to go after him and Jason Staten just like takes the elevator. And he's just like looking like, hi. And then the Rock swings him in and it's like. He smashes the guy's <laughs> face in the elevator and he's like. Oh, it's so good. Then for some message figure arts news, we have the Ultraman victory coming up. Is that the hundred dollar one or is that a different one? No, he's cheaper. He's oh. a general release. And then they also teased the go along with and Ginga S from the same series. Hmm. Okay, I know. Which uh actually I really love Ginga's design the shows. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like it's okay it's good. Like I I didn't mind it. Um Victory is a cool looking Ultimate though. And he even <clears> comes <throat> with like the arm transformation <clears throat> with uh Red King. I wish you had, like, the Eloking one, too, and stuff, though. So you got, like, the whippy arm. A giant fist arm is pretty sweet. That's all you need. Yeah, he's got, like, that one arm that he just, like, yeah, beats things with. That's all I'm going to go with. The Ginga would be exciting, though. Because I actually, uh, one of the Ultrax I have is actually the Ginga one. Which I kind of bought on a whim at G-Fest. And I was like, oh, hey, Ginga's on uh, on Crunchyroll. So I watched it there. I was like, this actually isn't that bad. I've come to realize, though, that most of the dudes that play Ultraman, I'm not that into. For reasons. He's one of them. I mean, like, it's hard to, like, get invested in the guy. right? Like, Closet's right there, Steve. (laughs) When did you come out of my closet? Well, I had to get the lights and stuff. Exactly. (laughs) Oh, <laughs> but it's like like the original Ultraman's like cool. It's really easy, you know. Ultraman, uh, Ultra Seven, Whoa. Orb. Don't mind me. I just woke up. Like they just like convey coolness, while some of them like say Ultraman X, not so much. It's like if you would have gave me Ultra powers and we followed that TV show, right? My yeah. now my Ultraman form would be super awesome. But you gotta remember, when I lose my abilities, I'm still just Steve. <laughs> that that is a good way right? of putting it. So like, I get it. Uh, there's also the uh, Dragon Ball Super, the Broly movie of uh, Super Saiyan Goku Blue. He's finally out. Yep, he's well off the pre-order. Yeah, but it's another it's another version of uh, the blue version of Goku you'll be able to get. Because I know the old version spiked up in price too. So it's nice that they're like not reissuing the figure, but giving you like another option. Yeah. For getting Goku in that particular form. Still need to know the Super Saiyan 3 one to come out though. Long hair? Like, yeah, I kind of need my Sonic the Hedgehog <coughs> Goku. I need Nap on Super Saiyan 3 form where it actually grows hair. <laughs> it's like stubble. Yeah. Stubble. <laughs> is what he gets. His mustache just gets like super long. Yeah, up. it's like that gets like flares out. Same with his eyebrows. Be perfect. Be amazing. Uh, speaking of hair flaring, for Dragon Ball Stars for the new wave, you'll finally be able to get your Super Saiyan 4 Goku. 
I only need one Super Saiyan for Goku in my life, and that is the X Plus statue. I can, I can, I'm pretty sure I can still get that for you. Got it right there. You gotta wait till tax time. That's so far away. Mine, I get mine in three weeks. I still gotta do mine, but I gotta wait for Google <laughs> to send me my thing so I can go do it. I got for how minuscule it is, but <laughs> I still need it. I got mine for Patreon. It was like, ah, you didn't get enough. I was like, yes. <laughs> I guess that's the one nice thing. <laughs> anyway, still appreciate you guys nonetheless. Uh, what else? And then finally, I don't know if I'm going to get it. More than likely not, even though it's Gridband. So I kind of want to because my Ultra Act 1 still has issues. But Not for this price. Evolution Toys is putting out a Gridman, and then they're also doing um, Thunder Gridman. Thunder. Problem is, it's like 60, 70 bucks for him. Who's Thunder Grid Man? Thunder Grid Man, same with like the armor pieces. Oh. There's different versions. There's also um, King Grid Man with the dragon. Yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, so, looks not bad. Like, I still think the Ultra Act looks better. I'm, not, I'm at the point where it's just like I'm waiting for Figure Arts to, to do it. That's just, just Figure Arts Grid Man. Surprised they actually haven't yet. They might. To be fair. Although, I could also see Figma doing Gridman 2. Like, but doing, like, anim the, the anime style, but just, like, normal Gridman. God, I would love that. Actually, give me that. You won't get it. Well, they're already doing, um... What is it? If you get the limited edition volume 3 of SSS Gridman... There is a figma of the colors before he gets the red from the first episode. So you'll get like the blue gray version. So actually, I got to keep Yeah, but how much is it though? Yeah, well, it comes with the DVD. With the DVD. Good question. I don't, I don't actually know how much it is. It's probably like 60 to 100. Yeah. It's probably there. But when it pops up on Ami Ami, it'll be pre owned. Won't be so bad. Be able to snag it. Just like how I got my one uh, Puella Magic Madoka Magica figure. Yeah. That was a PSP exclusive. I even have the PSP box it came in. But no PSP game. It, yeah, it didn't come with any of the PSP stuff, but it had the figure and all the accessories. That's all I cared about. It came with a little Kyube that like hung on her shoulders. Awesome. But that's pretty much about it for this action figure news. If there's anything we missed, let us know in the comment section below. We'll try to talk about it in the next video. Which... Probably or, won't be to Wonderfest. Or you should watch our previous video, so make sure you don't say what we already talked about. Watch all of them. Yes. Because if you watch these and watch them all at the end, we have the links, and every time you can go back. It's perfect. That is Also, true. there's a playlist. That's a thing, too. I guess the playlist actually would make more sense. Yep. So do both. Do either. What else you got to do today? Except life. We are alive. Talking about. <laughs> right. We talked about this so many times before. Remember that guy complaining that the channel is not about us, it's about the toy. No, it's about us. It's all about this. Okay, okay don't go past down the stomach. <laughs> I, I, I flew. I didn't I didn't keep going. I I just went out. Got it. We're good. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. bye. bye.